The 80th edition of Paris Nice is on the way, and you can watch each and every stage live and on demand on GCN+. Stage one began and ended in mont la ville Four categorized climbs, two intermediate sprints, each with bonus seconds, three, two and one, and 10, six and four for the stage winner on the line. Eight stages in total from the north of France to the south, 160 Ks for stage one. With 73 kilometers to go, the breakaway was reeled in. Matthew Holmes was there. He'd taken the King of the Mountains jersey by this point, but there was a lot of nerves around in the bunch because of the possibility of crosswinds. All of the usual suspects were at the front trying to keep their GC leaders safe, including Ineos Grenadiers, who have a great record of winning this race with the likes of Wiggins, Port, Thomas and, of course, Enal. Bernal, their last winner, he, of course, recovering at home and also having to go off and recover Felix Grosschartner. He was involved in a crash when the race was just starting to calm down, the first to abandon of the 154 riders present. Frederick Frison then took the opportunity to attack. He'd be joined by Fedorov and Gujal. The maximum gap would be about a minute and 20 seconds. Penultimate climb of the day, bit of the distance reduced. And behind they'd be working hard to try and catch them. The gap at 30 seconds when the bell was ringing and the local lap began. Quick step, Alpha Vinyl chasing on to try and get Fabio Jakobsen involved. Problems for Bike Exchange Jaco with Campbell Stewart going down. A couple of other riders caught up, including Grushchev of Astana, Kazakhstan. 15 kilometers to go, final intermediate sprint. The bonus seconds would go again to the breakaway. Behind, Yombo Visma were cooking something up. Race traveling at 60 k's an hour, driven along by the likes of Mike Turnisser. Nathan for Hoidonk doing a great job as well. Primoz Roglic, Wout van Aert, Christophe Laporte in attendance. And Sonny Colbrelli, one of those who were surprisingly dropped into the final climb of the day with around eight kilometers to go. And Christophe Laporte took over from Nathan Verhoydonk. A split would quickly develop. Wout van Aert would follow. Primoz Roglic and Stenjek Stibart, the likes of Quintana, Yates and other GC guys, yes, GC racers, were also dropped, as were the sprinters. That a little more expected. Jakobsen, Grunewege out. And at the top of the final climb of the day, it turned out to be a Jumbo Visma team time trial. Wad van Aert, Christophe Laporte, and Primoz Roglic, who very nearly won this race last year. One of the few week long stage races missing from his palmares out there. And a huge gap of almost half a minute. Three coming to the line together. One, two, three for Jumbo Visma. And the brand new signing, Christophe Laporte, who fought so hard to take that gap on the final climb was given the win. Roglic in second, picking up six bonus seconds, four bonuses going to Wad van Aert, and a small group led in behind. Gaps already to the defending champion, Max Schachmann, disappointed. He lost a few seconds coming in group number three. Delight, though, for Jumbo Visma. Teamwork making the dream work. The lead, a collection of jerseys and their stage win too. Christophe Laporte taking the win and the yellow jersey. 19 seconds to La Tour, 22 seconds on the road of the next group. 10 bonus seconds to Laporte. First ever time the Frenchman had won a stage of Paris-Nice. Had a yellow jersey here too. Four seconds his lead over his teammate Roglic. His other teammate Wout van Aert at six. And then it's almost half a minute, isn't it? Just over half a minute to the rest. Stage two is expected to be a day affected by the crosswinds. 160 kilometers again, with the wind blowing from the east directly across for most of the day. A tailwind and then another crosswind of the finish. Promises to be an exciting, interesting day with the rest of the teams looking to bounce back. A reminder, you can watch live and on demand on GCN+. Paris-Nice, the race to the sun with an explosive start.